Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get started with sending fan mail which will include how to know if an address will work, how to find addresses, a guide to purchasing autographs, sending letters, what do you send in the letter, do you add photos, how many, how do you ask for a photo, where do you print photos, some terminology commonly used with fan mail, and when I say it's a private success, what I mean by that. So I'm gonna try to cover as much of that as I can in one video. If it gets too long, I'll cut this into a few videos. So right now, I'm gonna be focusing on how, when you get started, how to find addresses and know that those will work. So let's get started. first thing you want to do is go to fanmail.biz. This was literally my life when I first started collecting and it still is. Now the thing with fanmail.biz is right here you'll see Ariana Grande. Let's say we click her. Not every address listed will work for celebrities. So if you see this and you see this address right here it doesn't mean it will work. Now, Ariana does not reply to fan mail anymore, which means this address does not work. However, it did work back in the day. You can see when her fan mail address was this, people got successes. Just because someone's address is listed does not mean it will work. Like Billie Eilish does not reply to fan mail. And if we go here, we got Paradigm Talent Agency right here. They do not reply. If you wanted to know what addresses would work and not work, let's say you wanted to send to, we'll just go under people and see who's the top. Good for her. Okay, let's see. Who's really popular? Angelina Jolie, we'll put here. Steve Carell, we'll put here. Good for them. Tom Cruise is pretty popular. All right, so we got Angelina Jolie. So here with Angelina Jolie, you see that it says William Morris Endeavor, aka WME. If you send them fan mail via mail or email, they will not reply. So William Morris Endeavor does not reply. This is under Tom Cruise. If you look, you see CAA. They do not reply. I have never seen a success from CAA before. I've emailed them when I started doing fan mail and I did not realize that they would not pass it on. So it's a waste of time. Whenever I see someone has representation at CAA, WME, and a few other other places I'm going to be showing you that don't work, I don't even try to send there. Because CAA, whether it's the New York address or the California address, it does not matter what address, they do not reply. So Tom Cruise has 42 West. I have never seen them reply. I've tried them when I was first starting out with fan mail and I was soon, it took me a little bit to realize that they do not reply. So do not send to 42 West, whatever address. So here, I made it easy. I went to the company meter for management. We'll focus on management companies. Luber Rolkin Entertainment. If you see an address for someone with this address, they will not reply. Some of the people they represent are Oh, that was 
I know they represent KJ Applet. Yeah, they represent KJ. And other people, Camilla, Ski, they represent people on Riverdale. They will not reply to fan mail, sadly. They will not pass your letter on, nothing. Another company that does not pass fan mail on is United Entertainment. United, why do I always call it that? It's Untitled Entertainment. Oh my gosh. Untitled Entertainment does not pass fan mail on. They have a lot of people that they represent, and they do not pass fan mail on at all. So, Alexandra won't reply. Alicia, oh my god, won't reply. These are just some people who are represented by Untitled Entertainment that will not reply to fan mail so if you see an address so like we'll go up here if you type her in and you see untitled entertainment or talent agency it's the same thing they will not pass it on to her and you notice there's no successes for her here so do not send there. It is sadly a waste of time. The next two, Anonymous Content and Three Arts Entertainment. I have never seen successes from either. Management 360 is also one. I'm not sure if that's going to be next. Oh, it is. They also don't pass on. Bridlestein Entertainment Partners represents Selena Gomez, or they did. If you email them, they'll tell you to send a SACE to their address, but no one has gotten a success from Selena via Brittlestein. Authentic Talent and Literary Management. I know Teza Farmiga did reply back in 2015 from that address, the New York one, but I haven't seen it in a while. I mailed there and I haven't heard back. Industry entertainment might. It depends. So I got Kate Mara via Viewpoint. Because you see address use Viewpoint, Viewpoint. It's kind of shocking that she replies. Oh, wow, that was recent. It's kind of shocking that she replies through... See, there's United Talent Agency and Untitled. I honestly think they're the same thing. But I don't know. I love to see what other people have gotten back. So I got a feedback. So I always look at feedback. I love it. I like seeing what people have gotten. Cause then it's like, oh, this person replies with this address. Okay, I can send to this address for them. So I love the feedback section. Also, if you go to jump to, there's via venue feedback. So via venue addresses, if we go here. A via venue address is when you send to a set, either movie or TV show, or to a venue, like concert venue. When you send to a Broadway theater, I think that's all. That would be via venue. Now, notice all these people listed for Riverdale. If you send to it, it will not work, sadly. Don't know anything about these. I just know most of these are probably not filming at all. That's it. That's not that many, <laughs> but Riverdale will not work, so do not send there. It's a waste of your time, sadly. What do I mean by what is a private address email-wise? 
So an email to a manager, agent, publicist, or the seller's personal email or any other type of email, I consider private. Now, someone did ask me something that made me think. So I know that she has one because I want to send to her. So let's say you're on someone's website and you go under contact and there's this and it works. I guess that's not private. I never thought about it. I would call it private, but it's not technically private. And then how to find emails. Haha, <laughs> we got some info over here. How to find emails. Sometimes it will be on the person's website. So you could look up Zach Friedman if she didn't reply from here. Forget that. You would look him up to find his email. You would do. And there it is. Or you would want hers. Please don't, if you want her autograph, don't do this because right here it's clearly stated. That is why I chose her. And you want to find hers. So sometimes it won't be listed like right away. It might be on someone's website. So who is this? I would go here and see if that's where it is. So like Schwaz from um Henry Danger, if you do contact, you're on his website, you do contact, you see emails here. And like, I never thought about it, but those aren't really private because they're there. They're on his website, and his website's probably in his bio of things. So I can't say it's not private and I'm sure if you go to his Facebook and you go under about oh but his website's there so that's still something since the person brought it to my attention today I'm not gonna call things I find on people's websites private I used to consider a private address anything not listed on fanmail.biz I just sent to Richard Jenkins and like here, all you see is fanmail.biz. And here does not have the address I used. So I would consider his address private. I found it on Star Tiger. So we're going to do Star Tiger where? Doesn't have me logged in. So, Star Tiger. It costs money, but it is amazing. You can get a free seven day trial. It is, as it says, it's just incredible. I'm not going to do it, but like. You would search and you'd see him. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to log myself in because you'll see the address. But this is what you'll see. And see? Addresses are shown for members only. So when it's green, it means it worked. And then when it's red, it means it's returned to sender over here. It's outdated. So the address I used for him is right here. And if I logged in, it would be there. Gallery, you can't see when you're not a member. So it's five dollars a month or thirty five a year. I share with my friend Lauren and it's about thirty five divided by two. Like sixteen a year. It's not bad at all. I love it and I consider anything that is on Star Tiger and not on FanMail.biz is private. Sometimes private addresses are also the person's home address, so it could be a home address, 
but <laughs> don't mail unless you know it has worked in the past. You don't want to invade people's space, please. That does, that's not right. Okay. Um, so home address is also private. But like I said, an address that's not listed on Famo God, this is my personal definition of what is a private address. That is how to know what address will work and finding addresses. Finding emails, my tips for finding emails. Search the person's Instagram page. I guess that wouldn't be considered private either, but if it's their personal email, I would consider it private because you don't want it to get spammed. So I say my tips for finding emails would be search the person's Instagram next page, next to message will say email. I also recommend Oh my god. In the I recommend going to their Facebook to see if there's anything in the about section because that is how I was one day in the car just bored looking at Ariana's Facebook page and under about it said family address I was like what is this so you never know what's listed under that and then if like I said their website see if there's a contact tab and then just email those emails but Remember what don't work. So like if Gersh is listed, please don't email Gersh. It's a waste of time. Like to say Gersh and CAA were listed and you're like, wow, I can email this person and possibly get their autograph. No, it, it's a waste of time. So those are my tips for finding emails. And I think that's all there. Oh, <laughs> I think that's all there is when finding and knowing what addresses will work.